and welcome back to my Metroid Prime playthrough. I'm one half of Steam Phil. In the last episode, we got the super missile and saw what the space pirates are trying to do on Talon 4, which is to utilize the substance called Phazon. In this episode, we're going to continue our way through the facility and see what other nice little treats the space pirates might have for us. Uh, the first, some more generic doorways. Oh, and in the last episode, as I said, that some of the creatures have uh, taken over quite a bit of the area. Why there's a missile door there, I don't know. I don't know why missile doors are around now. I know that so you make sure you have missile doors, but uh, make sure you have missiles. But it's a bit pointless to be honest. But hey ho. Right. Sneaky, sneaky. And we have. Another area full of space pirates. If I could only log onto this one without it being behind boxes, smartest space pirate all day that I've been playing. Right, out the way. Now the one's behind me. And we're going to be introduced to a new. Oh, hello. A new enemy in a second. A new class of space pirate. Answer, I've killed this guy. Did I see a. The max round? I don't know. I'm trying to run away from the base jet pirates. Don't want to be hurt. There we go. There's the other one. Right. See how it looks very similar to the five round one. Missile ammunition resupplies missile launcher with 10 rounds of ammo. So the most useful. Right. Best way to deal with these guys super missile. Super missile. And I, I say that and I miss. These guys. I just realised I haven't scanned them. Oh my god, I am screwing up today. Right. Here we are. Flying pirate. Pirates trained and equipped for airborne assault. Flying pirates are extremely agile in the air, but the heat signatures of their jetpacks can be tracked with thermal imaging. While their missiles are extremely potent, their jetpacks can be even more so. If the pack fails, they will make a suicide strike. So basically, if you, they will do a kamikaze on you. If they had the chance. Which they didn't there. And there's a couple more coming. Now you had to do this the first time, the next time you can just run away. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Go away. There we go. Now, one of the boxes here is explosive. Any with the orange dot will do, will explode like that. Could have used it a lot more, but they don't. It's only useful in a couple of situations. One, especially, which you will see later on, which I thought was quite funny. A nice little touch. Why it's there, I don't know. Let's get rid of these. Don't need to be in Yeah, you'll see me use sleeping missiles quite a bit and a lot of missiles. And the reason why this game is called Metroid Prime. Uh-oh. It's a Metroid. So once you scan it, which we see is a Metroid, energy-based parasitic predator, the dominant species of planet SR388. Metroids, can, which funnily enough is where you go on uh, Metroid Fusion. Metroids can suck the life force out of living things. A Metroid will latch onto its prey and drain energy, growing larger as it does. The only way to shake an attached Metroid is to enter the Morph Ball mode and lay a bomb. So if you do get one stuck on you, do exactly that. Go into the Morph Ball mode and use it. Uh, even more so with certain Metroids later on, which come in when, where the Morph Ball bomb is... Uh, the, a certain item helps a lot more, and it's not the Morph Ball bomb. Something very similar. Anyone going to come up and attack me? No? Okay. It's my little log I missed last time. Alright, log 10.444.4. Initial transfer of Metroids to Talon 4 research facilities has been completed. Three were terminated in an instant at the landing site, but the others were pacified and transported safely. Initial phase on infusion testing is underway. We are eager to observe the effects of phase on on Metroids, especially their ability to absorb and process the energy given off by phase on sources. Early research suggests, suggests a considerable growth in power and size. 
Whether the creatures stay stable thereafter remains to be seen. Again, not great if the Metroids are being used for scientific gain as weapons by the thing. Very different looking thing there though. It doesn't look exactly like a Metroid, but we will see it later on. Like a lot of things in this game. I love how this one hasn't seen me yet. Now nah, it's just chilling. To get a little bit of tasered. And boom. Now at this distance they sometimes like to dodge. If they're clever enough. Which those ones weren't. See some will charge up at you. Not worth it though because you will. I don't know why. I think, you know, after all the problems they've had with Samus. You'd think they'd run. Now if there are Metroids around you can use them to kill uh, space pirates. Wouldn't bother now. Oh god fell. So that Metroid there to my right you could use and kill this guy. Not worth it personally. Uh, purely for the fact that the space pirates are relatively easy to kill. But later on when there's a mass of space pirates it can be helpful just to get rid of some of them because the Metroids again as well aren't that effective now. I'm going to get that in a second. I'm just going back up and get a scan which I did miss which I'm missing missing a lot. No, no, no. There we go. One log one zero dot nine five seven dot two. Confidence is high is high regarding phase. Ugh. Confidence is high regarding phase on applications. What? Confidence is high regarding phase on applications. That's where I got confused. We know enough about phase on now to begin combining it with space pirate DNA. Never a good idea. The code name for this vulnerable vulnerable this venture will be Project Helix or Helix. Prelim preliminary studies indicate that phase on infusion could produce radical new pirate genomes. Be benevolent mutation levels are high in current test subjects. Phase on manos is a concern, but re refinements in the infusion process should reduce our and or neutralize the odds of mental degeneration. Yeah, okay. Whatever you say so. You know, it's absolutely fine. Right. Now this one Metroid uh, Metroid, this one missile expansion can be annoying. Ah, okay, it's fine. Just gradually bring it around. Slow. I don't know why this is here really, but there we go. Ah, got it. First time. Thank you very much. Drop. Right, and another expansion. Blow use a missile. Energy tank. So health. If you die now, it's you're pretty poor. Oh, okay, that's a lift. I let that come down. Don't want the annoying noise. All right, space pirate data log one one dot four two zero dot seven. Metroid dis dissection continues to provide more questions than answers. Our research teams have isolated the energy conduits that run from the invasive twin mandibles to the energy core in the creature's quadripartite nucleus. But the manner in which a Metroid actually extracts a life force from its prey remains an utter mystery. The victim does not lose blood or any other vital fluids, and yet the Metroid extracts energy. Identifying this energy is our central problem. It takes no physical form, and yet without it, the victim dies. We will continue to research this matter as the isolation of this life-giving essence could be the key to our ascendance. This is probably why they use trying to use Metroids a lot of the time in the game. To try, even probably the Galactic Federation, to try and make, uh, utilise life force and see if you can suck it out of people. Funny enough, never really worked. Uh, so, log 11.550.6. Studies of Metroid biology continue for which limited progress? Though limited pro, but though we've. Oh, I don't know. It seems likely that we will be much more successful using the Metroids for our means rather than trying to reproduce their powers. If they could be adequately tamed, we would have no need of a proper understanding of their metabolism. A small force of disciplined Metroids could wipe out entire armies, and once we find a way to shield them from cold containment weapons, they will be invincible. Furthermore, if we could then harvest the energy they'd consumed, we would have a near limit of source of power at our disposal. Again, uh, backing off of what I've just said, they're trying to use the life force for means that are much more deadly uh, than first apparent. So, we are there. Let's check in the scans. A lot of scanning. If you really want to do it, don't need to worry about it. I don't think there's anything else in that corner. 
Nope. I think we got everything. That's good for me. Open this up. And down we And welcome to the ice variant of the beetle. Can you guess what it is? You guessed right. Ice beetle. Borrowing insect with an ice reinforced carapace. Ad averse to heat. This member of the beetle family has adapted to life in the sub-zero temperatures in the Fendrana dress, growing a thick ice shell over its entire body. The ice is extremely resilient, providing the ice beetle with extra protection and an augmented digging abilities. Oh, I'll just run away from him. It's fine. Goodbye. No, oh, didn't move. Come on. Speed. Oh my god, speed up. I'm being attacked. Ow. Oh, I'm being hit here. Deal with these. Very quickly. We are now in probably the main area of. Right. As you can hear some things coming up. Yeah, let's deal with them quickly. There we go. A simple, easy way. Can I get that? Ah, solid. it. Don't need to worry about it. Uh, there we go. Oh look, a new item for us to obtain. Like I said, certain things will certainly be easier to uh, see and not see later on. This is why you want to scan all the stuff in the minute as you will tell, because it's a little bit of a nightmare after the stage, which is one of my main complaints for this game. Right. So. Oh, hello. I see you. You're going to get up. Oh, there we go. Now there's normally another one, I'd assume, somewhere. Though I can't see it. So I'm just going to ignore it. There it is. There's another control panel. So yeah, scan these fr the three of the red squares and you'll get access to the item. So force field network, all three force must be deactivated to access to access object. What could this object be? It looks something similar to, very similar to something that we're wearing. And the force fields are down. So, the thermal visor. Our first visor upgrade since the start. We can now kind of see in the dark. Uh, so, press down on the D pad. To use the thermal visor, blah 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 blah, and this is why you want to scan everything in the space pirate research facility before this point. Everything decides to go dark, and space pirates become. See, I can't see them. However, with the thermal visor, you can. So the shadow pirates now become a little bit more deadly. But with the thermal, where are you going? Oh my god, really? There we go. I haven't seen that before. I don't, oh, there he is. So like I wonder where he went. Now, there's two options here, either to run or fight. Uh, I'm going to fight because it's much easier. Super missile to the face. Done. Should have enough missiles to not really worry at the second. Um see are you gonna come out yet? Yeah. Just run away. I know it's hard to kill in creatures, but sort it. Alright, you'll see in a second what that's about. Now I said earlier on in a previous episode that the door was powered down. A nearby power conduit. Now, if you turn onto the fire emblem visor, this is how you find them. The only way to activate them is by the wave beam, from what I believe. Now, here's a new enemy. As you can see, I can't see anything. Mechanical, uh, mechanoid, sentry drone, drone, well armed and armored security mecha. Sentry drones have limited intelligence but do their assigned task well. Being machines, they are susceptible to electrical attacks when alerted. Drones will initiate a security lockdown, then attempt to neutralize the intruder. Their electronic warfare suit can scramble visor technology as well. Nothing to see here. Super missile, quickest way of getting rid of them. Otherwise, they start doing this, and by god, it's annoying. Oh, go away, but wow, I hit him with that. 
Okay, there we go. Don't know how I'm away with that, but you can see that it's just dark. I'm gonna find out. Oh, there we go. Ah! Yeah, I'm just trying to get my way out of this facility. Oh, hello. Another one fell down. Go away. Now, some of them will be hanging off the cl off the cliffs, off the roofs. Oh, I've got the camera. Now, as you can see, the film visor doesn't pick up those. Ah, I've got that. Shoot, it's fine. Let's run away. Nothing to see here. Absolutely fine. See, so, yeah, as you can see, they hang up. Sometimes hang on the ceiling. Why are you running away? Why are you doing this to me? You never. Oh. For some reason, the wave beam isn't really locking onto them at the moment. Is that a thing? Can't remember. Well, they always lock on, but. Ah! Oh! Oh my! Okay. It's fine. Fine. Nah. Ah. Woo! Now, there's a security camera up there. Just destroy that. As you see, it is dark. Can't see a thing. So don't let, mo most of the time, just stick with the wave beam because you don't know what the colour doors are unless you switch back to your previous beam, which is an utter waste of time. Oh my god! Probably not the most annoying. I mean, there's one later on in uh, the series, specifically Prime Two, where it kind of glitches out the screen. The first time it happened, I was like, "Uh, has the game crashed?" No, it's just the thing, right? Now, for now, I'm just going to run past this area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep fighting me. It's all right. It's going to run away. Nothing to see. Yeah, you can see why I don't like this area. It's just annoying. They, the power will never come back on. I find it just a bit frustrating. Because if you're trying to find your last scan books, if it's in here, you're going to struggle. Right, I'm just going to run away. It's fine. It's going to go over here. Right. I think we'll call it a day, seeing that we've got a couple of good items here. Well, one good item out of today. So, thank you very much for watching. I've been one half of Stephen Phil. In the next episode, we're going to get ourselves out of the facility and head towards that big room on the map which I saw a couple of episodes ago that one specifically so until then I shall see you next time